for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use NetBeans to create a class. I've created a package and I'm going to uh, uh, add a class to that package and we're going to test that class with a driver or a test. So I'm starting off with a package which I've called Daytime and I'm going to get rid of some of the comments here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add a class. New Java class and I'll give it a name. Oops, wrong one. Let me try it again. So I've got a new class called Day, and again, let me clean it up a little bit. Okay, and that's a good one. Maybe it makes that a little bit more readable. Okay, now for our new class, here's what we want to do. Let's. Uh, some data to this. <clears throat> Make a string value for the weekday. And let's make an array of type string. And we'll call it weekday. And this will consist of Oh, I do not want to type all this. Tell you what, uh, I'll pause this and pop it in there. Okay. Okay. So we have our variables created and our array created. Uh, let's go ahead and make a constructor for this. And a constructor is going to be. <coughs> now the. We're going to make this. First constructor of 
example, would be a default constructor. Now, <clears throat> what we can do is that we can overload the uh, constructors. And I'll tell you what, let me give about weekday. Is that what we use? Yeah, weekday. So say we do the uh, default constructor, it would set the weekday to Sunday. And let's do... Now it's public because you want um, access to this from outside of your class. So your constructors, you want to be able to access uh, them from outside of the class. Um, What's the point otherwise? Okay. And on this one, how about if we do this? We say that uh, constructor day, and we're going to uh, constructor day. Pass in a string. Okay. Well, and what are we going to do with that string when we get it? Change weekday to whatever we uh, pass in. When we create this, uh, when we create this uh, instance, okay. Hmm. Okay. What else do we want to do with this? Let's see. Let's make a. void method, which will print out the value of weekday. Mm, okay. All right. Why don't we just leave it at that for right now? Uh, let's go back to our test, and we'll try that out. instance and create a variable name called my day we'll create a instance of day and we'll initialize the constructor to be about uh, Tuesdays. Now we had a method in there which we called print. Let's try that. So we're going to, we've got our my day and we're going to print from 
from there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. I'm going to right click, run this particular file, and when it runs, it comes back and says it went into the class. <clears throat> uh, first, it created an instance of the day class, and with this instance, it uh, sent to the constructor the value Tuesday. Now, now that we've created this instance of the class day, and we called it my day, in that my day, or in this class, there's a method. We use the dot operator to access that method called called print. And what we're doing is we're printing out whatever value weekday is. So depending on which constructor we use, we use the default constructor or we passed in a string value. Remember on this one we passed in a string value. So we'll be using this constructor. So whichever way uh, this constructor was initialized, um, it's going to print out the value of weekday. Okay. And when we look, that's what it did. It printed, printed out the value of weekday, which was Tuesday, or twos. Okay. And I want to make some changes to this. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let tell you what, let's just send it without Okay. Let's run it without a value. Let's see what happens then. So we run it now and it comes back. <laughs> Oops. And sorry about that. Ran the wrong one. Right click and I'll run a run this file. And when it came back, it came back and said Sunday. What? Let's change this so it's a little easier to see. Let's go back here. Instead of print, let's use print one. That should put in a couple extra lines for us. So it'll be easy to see that. And, uh, okay. All right. So let's try it now. See if it's easier to see. So we're running the uh, a default constructor, passing no arguments to it. So that should be this one right here, right? So what's it going to print out? Weekday is going to, uh, the string sign is going to be assigned to weekday, so should print that out, right? Let's go back here, right click, run file, and when we do, yeah, that's what it prints out, Sunday. Okay, so that's the basics of uh, adding a class and create writing a test, or some might say driver for that particular class. That'll do.